In this lesson video, we are going to discuss about framing and how to create custom shortcut in Blender. Framing is a way of making our viewport to focus on certain objects. When working with large scene filled with multiple objects, we often need to zoom in directly to a selected object. Or perhaps we need to see everything in the scene quickly. In this scene, I already have several objects to practice framing. The first method of framing is to see all objects in the scene. We can do this using the home key in the keyboard. So if we have our viewport zoomed in like this, pressing home key will frame the viewport so that all objects in the scene are visible. The next framing method is to focus on a selected object. To do this, we can use the dot key on the numpad. But of course, this method will require us to select an object first. So just click on this cube, for example, and then press the dot key on the numpad to frame it. As we can see, the viewport will automatically move and zoom so that the selected object we have currently is in frame. Press home again to see the overall objects in the scene. If you ever forget these shortcuts, you can go to the view menu up here in the 3D viewport header. We can see the frame selected shortcut is dot and the frame all shortcut is home. Okay guys, I really need to stress out that these framing methods are very very important. Why? Well, if you are working on a complex scene, you will often zoom out the viewport way back and sometimes zoom in very very close to see the small details using the scroll wheel. Now this condition will often bring problems. Sometimes our viewport just gets stuck because we zoom in or out too far. This problem is not specific to Blender. All 3D software that I know have this problem also. If you ever experience where your viewport won't zoom or it does zoom but very very slow, you need to reframe your viewport either by pressing the home key to frame all objects or you can select an object you want to focus first and then hit the numpad dot key. Because these framing methods will reset the zoom value of our viewport. So after framing, we can zoom in and out again like we normally do. Now, because this dot key shortcut is very very important, if you use laptop or you use a computer that doesn't have any numpad in its keyboard, you may want to create a custom shortcut for it. Of course, you don't have to do this if you have a full keyboard with numpad. But you can still watch the rest of this lesson to learn how to create your own custom shortcut. For the shortcut, you can replace the dot key in the numpad with the dot key in the letter pad. This is entirely up to you. But personally, I prefer to use the Q letter key for the custom shortcut because of two reasons. First, the letter Q key is near our left hand position making it more convenient to reach. And we will need to use framing a lot, especially in modeling session. Second, the Q letter key is originally used for quick favorite, which is a feature I rarely use. To create a custom shortcut, go to the edit menu, and then choose preferences. You will see key map category in here. All Blender keyboard shortcuts are listed in here. The left column shows the name of the command, and the right column shows the key combination. You can try finding the shortcut manually by digging through all of these lists. But to make this easier, just click on the search bar up here, and then type view selected. Blender will filter the list so it only display commands that have few selected words in its names. What we are aiming here is the 3D viewport shortcut, which is this section. Notice we have this numpad.key in here. To replace this with the Q letter key, just click on it until the words press a key show up, then press the Q letter key. And that's it, you just created a custom shortcut in Blender. We can tell that a shortcut is not a default shortcut by this arrow button. If you click on this arrow button, it will revert back to numpad dot again. If you mistakenly click on one of these X buttons, the shortcut will get removed. Don't worry, just click this restore button up here to get it back. 
But this will also reset our custom shortcut. So click again in here and then press Q letter key. Close the preferences window and let's test our custom shortcut. Select this object, for example, and then press Q. The shortcut works as we expected. Okay, guys, from this lesson forward, when I say frame to a selected object, it means pressing the dot key in the numpad or the Q custom shortcut or any key that you choose for the custom shortcut. 